Thanks everybody. Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Ricky Camilleri. You love our next guests as super troopers, and now you can see them as firefighters in the new true TV show, Tacoma FD, created by and starring Kevin Heffernan and Steve Lemmy. Let's take a look. They're the heroes. Look out, look out, look out. Come on, buddy, stay with me. Stay with me here. Who risk it all. Hey, hey, he's gone, all right? He had nine good ones, man, let him go. Not on my watch. Uh, a new comedy from the two hottest super troopers. You wouldn't be pulling any pranks, would you? What kind of pranks? Prank pranks? Pranky pranks? Covert pranks? Oh, shit! You're scraping toilets, Chief! Tacoma FD. They're on call. Oh! Hey, what are you guys doing? Are you playing Jaws like Jenga? No. And ready for action. Hey, that's my helmet. Everyone knows in a feud is tit for tat. Fall back, McCocky. I'm the fire chief. Oh! They hit us twice in a row. They tit tit tat at us. What's my nickname? That'll come in time. What was my dad's? Two in a can. Why? Because his junk is wider than it is long. Yeah, it's gross. Now you're the chief. Act like one. There will be no more farting. That's all I do. There will be no more swearing. Oh, 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 there will be no hazing. Let me out. Let me go. He's up there crying like a little girl. <laughs> I mean, like a genderless creature. He's crying like a genderless creature. Okay. 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 Huh. Okay. Okay. Everybody, please welcome from Tacoma FD, Gabriel Hogan, Hassey Harrison, Kevin Heffernan, and Steve Lemmy. Woo! Hey. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks so much for being here, Woo! guys. Congratulations thanks for having on creating us. a show that captures the spirit and the hilarity of the Super Troopers without being Super Troopers, of course. Sure. Well, but with mustaches, though. Same with, with, but with mustaches. Same mustaches. Yes. <laughs> but we did pitch it as super troopers in a fire station. Okay, I see. I don't know how much you guys want to <laughs> say that. Sometimes people come up here and they're like, it's not the thing that we did before. You it know, is the thing it we is, did before. It is. <laughs> but better. With it different is. people. So. <laughs> Can I ask, how, does the, how do the rest of the super troopers feel about you two guys like doing something different but very, very similar with, you know, how does it feel? I can take that one. Sure. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> well, we got one of the other guys, Paul Soder, was on the. He wrote with us, and he uh, appears in one of the episodes right. in a very big cameo. The other guys were too expensive. <laughs> we couldn't afford. They're too big for us now. So, Is we're just, true. Uh, yes, it's very true. It's very <laughs> true. They're way too expensive. A million dollars each. How long have you guys been uh, sort of trying to get a... I mean, because Super Troopers, while they're wonderful movies, they very obviously can be a television show. It feels like set up to have done a movie and then go into television with this group of guys getting into hijinks. How long have you been pitching this and trying to sort of get something like that off the ground? I mean, we've been, you know, dabbling in the television world for a while. and uh, But this was something that uh, with Super Troopers 2 coming out, we just kind of timed it with the release of the movie uh, to hopefully get that momentum to get the green light into a series. And uh, so we wrote the script and then shot the pilot. And uh, about a week or two after the movie came out, we got the green light. Amazing. Um, now, you know, the, the other Super Troopers, you guys have known them for years. Broken Lizard goes back a really long way. How did it go casting essentially new members of a, of a troop with you guys? Like casting these guys and getting the whole thing together. Well, it's good because we just thought they'd be the good looking ones. See, look at them. <laughs> But they the turns case, out they're funny. The case, these I guys are, I mean, like, these guys are very, very funny. Were you jealous of that? Like, oh, great, you're super jealous. And funny? They got all the, they got, they got the five tools. We're using the them. Funny, we're know? using yeah. them. The, the truth is, to, to get on TV, you have to be really good looking, which we're not. So we got them <laughs> yeah, right. to do the heavy lifting for us. <laughs> and it turns out they're funny. What were your auditions like to get on the show? Uh, mine was amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to just leave it there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it was it was fun right off the bat. I mean, I I you know went and jumped through the hoops like everything else, and I thought these guys are great. You know, I was a fan of what they do, and uh, and uh, yeah, I guess how many times did I come in? Twice, right? Yeah, twice. Yeah. And then we called you time. from the road. We called you from the road, right, to tell you that you were. Uh, you're That's in. Right. Are we texting That's right. on the road? Well, well, Gabe, Gabe, you know, Gabe came in. The part was like you know a 23 year old, like blonde hunk firefighter, you know, like, you know, who's also a male stripper on the side. <laughs> and I'm 26, and they're like, it's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but Gabe came in, and after his audition, we were, we were like, oh, my God, did you see that guy's biceps? Oh, my God. So, you know, we were quite... Did he even read, or did he just sort of show up tank top? Yeah, he just breathed. Like... He breathed. Yeah, yeah we He actually came in in full mustache, yeah. which got him the part immediately. Yeah. You come in with mustache, you get the part. 
True, right? Yeah. And I happened to have that mustache. It was over the holidays. I had kind of a beard. And uh, I shaved a mustache to make my kids laugh. And I said to my wife, watch, I'll have this for like the next year or something. And then I got the call to go, to go in and read for these guys, had the mustache, took my shirt off. No, I didn't. And, uh, <laughs> now you're <laughs> stuck with mustache system. forever. Actually, it was the best call I got. I don't know if you guys remember. Or maybe it was a, I think it was a message from you guys. Yeah. To let me know that was, we got picked up. No, that I, that I landed the part. Yeah. To, Keep growing that mustache, yeah. mother effer, or whatever. Like, oh, you can hey, curse. Man. It's okay. You can curse on here. <laughs> okay. Did it say oh, keep can? growing oh, that mustache? Oh, motherfucker. There it is. It was yeah. fucking yeah. awesome. I got the <laughs> fucking message. I was like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Hey. <laughs> Do you like the mustache? mustache? You guys are used to mustaches now. Do you like having the mustache? I don't mind it. I mean, these I guys are both this. saying that. These guys do not like having the mustache. <laughs> really? And they were I a little don't. salty. They had to keep it throughout the year. But I think they really frame their faces. I He's mean, pro mustache. I'm, I think I'm, you wear them well. We do, but we were stu- we did Super Troopers 2 campaign, no, and we had right. the mustaches for that and the shooting of it, and then we went into Tacoma FD immediately, and, and I don't you know. Can never, you can never get rid of it, I really. guess not. I don't know. No. Maybe in the slight break between seasons, but you can't really... I can't because it takes yeah. me like eight months to grow it. Yeah, yeah. just to get to that point. Yeah, right? just to get to this. I mean, he's yeah. never cut it ever. Ever. Look did you it. ever think when you first did Super Troopers that that would force you to live the rest of your life with mustaches? <laughs> no, I mean we just thought mustaches were hilarious, and so we. And we now you have to live a life of hilarity. Yeah, the joke's on us. It really is. It really is. It. It. Uh, like you eat soup. <laughs> and it's all over. Like you, you, they're carrying that soup for the rest of the day. It's terrible. True. The worst. Uh, when was the last time you didn't have a mustache? I shaved mine for about a week over Christmas vacation. Because uh, you like can. a weight was lifted off of your face. Yeah. No. You look, be- you look weird, you know. Because yeah, when you have a mustache for yeah. that long and you shave it, then you just look like a freak. Yeah. Like you know when you see Tom Selleck without a mustache, and he looks all weird. It looks like That's it's eleven weird. feet from here to here. Yeah. Like, from exactly. the nose to the- yeah. <laughs> Good God, man, you're a freak. No, it's not. It's natural. You just don't. You don't. And what is it like for you being um, the only woman of the group? What's it like for you not having a mustache? <laughs> not- I have gotten Every that question before. Mustache. Um, it's awesome. I I feel really lucky that all these guys are so cool and. You know, there's a lot of razzing on set. I get razzed a lot, but I think they may have hired the right girl who can stand her stand her own ground and just have fun. And you know, these what kind of uh, razzing is done on set? Oh, um, well, when I sat down to go to the bathroom before coming out here, my uh, my trench coat fell in the toilet. Yeah. And Unbelievable! <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> that, you guys make fun of her for that. She and I knew up. that they were going to bring it up, but <laughs> no. now I'm bringing it up. So. That was that was like Eminem and Eight Mile. Now you can't make fun of me because I already brought it up. You no beat way, us no, we to can't. it. God damn it! She was like, we walked in there. She's like, I'm gonna tell you something, but n- none of you fuckers better say anything. <laughs> I sat down to take a piss. My belt went in the toilet. And then we were this like, this is before I had in your pocket. Don't worry about it. What's the big deal? Yeah, it's in my make pocket. Make that clear now. before that there was actually any pee. Yeah. But that's how she got the part. Like we, you know, when she came in, we had cast a bunch of other roles for Yeah, she <laughs> peed. She peed on her thing in the toilet. On her, unbelievable. No, we, we did a chemistry read where we had cast uh, uh, all the other roles, and she came in and read with the, the real guys and us, and she just immediately held her own. I think she came in, like, put her foot up on the chair and blah, blah, blah. She's from, she's from Texas. She's got a lot of that going for her. You know what I mean? Challenge everyone to an arm wrestle. We're like, yeah. <laughs> and, and we knew that she could fit in with all. Well, okay. she did. Just, like, somebody said something to her, and she was like, stay out of my vagina, man. And then literally, like, <laughs> our eyes popped out of our head, and we're like, That's, I think this is the one. I think this is the one. What Fair is enough. it like um, writing, write, writing comedy and writing characters who are essentially, and you've done this with Super Troopers, and you do it so well, and you keep a lighthearted fair, but they are, in a lot of ways, bros. They are, like, manly men doing manly things in a silly way. What is that like writing that in this Climate. Well, we don't try to write things about manly men doing manly <laughs> things. It just happens to come off that way. <laughs> right, manly you know. men doing silly things, excuse me. No, no. I, you know, I think what it is is that, uh, you know, Kevin and I and the other Broken Lizard guys were uh, college friends. And so it was like, you know, most group, groups of friends, you hang out with each other, you have laughs, and you're like, hey, you know, we should write that down or whatever it is. And we just, uh, I think we just started doing that. Uh, you know, we had a sketch comedy group in, in, in college, and so... You know, our approach has always been to try to to not be hateful. Mm-hmm. You know, like we're never we never pick on people. Uh, in, fa- in fact, if we do that in the movies, it's because somebody's been harassing us first. But so our, our our philosophy has always been to just be nice people, and you know, hopefully, like represent like like typical groups of friends where each has a you know, there's a different personality, and uh, and they all get along really well. And Which is nice, I think, for an audience. I mean, our feeling is always to create 
a world where you want people to feel like they can hang out with you and that it's approachable and that they feel like they're part of the fun and the gang. And I think that was more the sensibility we would always go for in our stuff. I mean, I loved Super Troopers when uh, it came out, I think when I was in high school. And then when the second one was coming out, I was like kind of worried because I'm like yeah. a 33 year old man. And I was like, am I still going to be a, like, am I going to be able to handle this kind of humor in this climate? <laughs> nope. And then it was like, oh, easily. Like this is really lighthearted and sweet. Yeah. And in no way, even though these guys are like, bros in no way are they kind of like yeah punching down or hurting anybody or in any way like sexist and, or, i mean yeah. if they are sexist it's really on them that they are <laughs> well, no not. what we do though is we have uh kevin's characters right <laughs> who can do all that stuff <laughs> and so any like the on foible me. he's the one that well he's farva you know he he essentially is that guy in, in the super troopers movie and, and in tacoma fd he's farva uh who's now become the chief <laughs> Of the station, um, sweeter I, th I would say in Tacoma FD. Like he, he's less of a, he's a bit sweeter in this. And Lemmy will never give you that. He'll never say that I have any sweetness in me at all. Right? Yes, it's true Do because it, he has a daughter. Yeah. Yes, Hassie plays his daughter, <laughs> yeah. and uh, it, it's actually great when Hassie shows up because, you know, uh, in, in firefighters across the country, it's I, it's, I think it's still ninety seven percent male profession, and that's just it's not that anybody's been trying to keep women out. It's just that women haven't started doing that until really recently. And so uh, the, a lot of these fire stations don't have uh, women's room. They're, they're not, you know, fit to be co-ed. Um, and so, you know, we find out Kevin's character is a little bit old fashioned and his daughter shows up in the station and uh, we're all just a little scared. We don't know what to expect. And in fact, it turns out she's, you know, she's gonna give us all a run for our money and, uh, and inject some, some new fresh blood into our old, our old fashioned uh, ways. And drop her coat in the toilet. Yep. She's a beast. <laughs> I would imagine you don't have to do uh, much research as an actor for this. It's a lot of it's in the jokes and stuff. But I'm curious if you were, if you, if you were curious yourself about, you know, the few women who are a part, who are a part of fire departments. Yeah, of course. I mean, I've been lucky enough to speak with a few of them. And just last week, we did something in, down in Texas, and we invited a lot of firefighters. And there were quite a few females who, I mean, I think they, they were excited to come talk to me and I was very curious to talk to them and... They're tough. They're, yeah, they're tough and they have There was to one of them and, that was like... Yeah, Mickey. they're like... Yeah. Mikey. Mickey. Yeah. What's up, Mikey? Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, I think it does take um, an element of masculinity and physical strength just to be able to like, you know, do the job. And I think that... Um, I, you know, I'm lucky. I, there were a couple guys that came up to me and they're like, oh, girls can't be firefighters. I've heard a bit of that too. And, um, and you know, I can't, I can yeah. wear, wear the full rig and get, I, I can do it. Yeah. Did you wear the rig? Story. Yep. Yeah. What's it like wearing the rig? It's, uh, it's a lot like scuba diving, but you never go into the anti-gravity water. <laughs> <laughs> it's no basically the feels like the, the same. anti-gravity water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we had a, uh, my cousin is a firefighter, and he was on the set with us uh, as our technical consultant, and uh, we would get the gear on and be in the tanks and stuff like that, and, you know, we'd take the stuff off and be like, oh, God, it's so heavy, and I can't breathe, and uh, and then you'd look up, and he'd be smiling at us, because that's what they do every day. And you realize, God, we're just wimpy actors, and those guys are the like. Guys. It's so hot. Yeah. Uh, so hot. Uh, well, that's yeah. what happened. I mean, it, you know, unfortunately, the the, the Woolsey fires uh, started simultaneously while we were filming a fire episode, and so it was. Woolsey fires? Do you mean the fire? The, in, uh, in, in California. California. Yeah. California. Yeah. 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 yeah, and it was yeah, about five miles away from where the uh, where the set was, and so you could actually see the plumes of smoke. And there's a thousand firefighters up there, 24/7, doing this. And we're down on the set with our little fire bar and like, you know, sweating after five minutes and complaining about how heavy the tanks are. And you're like, God, those guys are heroes and we are total wussies. Yeah, I'm also, at the same time, doing lines that are like, who farted in the suit? Yeah, or something. Right, right. Then be like, exactly. uh, yeah. I'm, who I'm like driving the, the truck around, right? Like around uh, uh, the set. LA. Yeah, yeah, LA. And uh, people are going, hey, yeah, great, far out. I'm like, no, I'm an actor. I'm, <laughs> I'm an actor. Forget it. <laughs> they brought them all the way here from Tacoma. That's amazing. Like, I agree with you, no, but I, not me. Not me. Yeah. Well, we had that. We were parked there, and uh, we were parked next to an SUV. And there was a guy who looked up and he saw that it said Tacoma FD on the side of the fire truck. And he was like, "You guys came all the way from Tacoma to help fight this fire." And we were like, "Yeah, yeah, we did." Yeah, that's right. Do you want to break his heart? Yeah. <laughs> like, 
he had, that guy hadn't seen Super Troopers, apparently. Yeah, no, no. Right. Uh, but at the same time, you are representing firefighters, I think, in a completely different way than has been on television before. You know, you're not Chicago Fire or something. You are a comedy show, and comedy is much more... Uh, I think people enjoy comedy, and they feel they relate to it more than they do something like, you know, four fires in a week. Yeah, I think show. certainly firefighters do, too. I mean, as we yeah. talk to these guys, they're just fun guys who, who like to have a good time. And a lot of the shows out there now where it's firefighters who cry and, right, who... Yeah, no, that's uh, what they say. They're like, it's... No a, crying on You got these good-looking guys crying. That's not <laughs> us. The firefighters are like, we have, you know, we're in the station 24 hours a day. We're pulling pranks with each other. We don't always fight fires. A lot of the time we're doing these stupid things. We're either, you know, uh, getting people stuck, unstuck out of things or, you know... Gas leak. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just like really yeah. inane things. Like they do deal with animals. They get every every ridiculous call. I mean, and so uh, these guys were really careful too in the writing and the creating of it. Not to, there's no goofing on the actual work or the or the or the firefighting and and the the actual job, right? I think they're very respectful of it, which is a, a tricky line to sort of ride, right? Yeah. I mean, all the comedy comes from you know their personalities and their their downtime and how you know their goofball sort of shenanigans they get into, but the actual. Uh, you know, I think it's it is respectful to the actual job, which is pretty cool, right? Yeah. I mean, we're good at what we do. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, super <laughs> troopers. We were always four of us as, are as five bumbling firefighters, you know, and uh, or five bumbling highway patrolmen, and so we didn't want to do that with the firefighters. We wanted them to be good at their jobs, and uh, and they just have fun doing all this other stuff. Now, um, do you guys get the chance to, you know, when you're doing a 22-minute TV show, you have to hit your beats really fast and tell the story quickly, but there does, you seem to give your characters and your actors a little room to breathe when you're in the firehouse. Do you get to play and improvise at all, or are you moving pretty quickly? Yeah, I know. I mean, I think even from our Broken Lizard days, the idea was always to have a solid script as the basis and have the good jokes and things like that, but then allow time to have some fun. And so I think, you know, I mean, that's the amazing thing about these guys is they came in and we didn't know what their, what their improv skills were because we had never worked with them before. And these guys came in and they were so good uh, creating new jokes in the moment. And it became kind of a great, kind of fun atmosphere to do that. And I think that comes across a little bit. Thank you. He's go. never said that before. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. That's what I'm here for, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get some questions from our audience. Who has a question? Oh, hi. Hi. Um, so I know there's like a lot of pranks on the show. I was wondering how often do you guys prank each other like off camera if you do and what's the best prank you've ever pulled? I like one that we, the only one that jumps to mind is the one that we did to Hassie. Uh, when we did, you'll see it a lot where, uh, in the promos where we all walk together and looking cool and whatever. I think the very first time we did that, we were all lined up and it was early on and so we had all hung It was out. my first day <laughs> we, we had hung out a lot <laughs> together already and this also goes to show, she was just so cool about it because some people were like, no, don't. So, you know, we all get ready to, to do our cool walk and, and we all waited and stayed. And Hassie was the only one who <laughs> <laughs> uh, Next question. Hello. So thank you guys for coming. Hi, really yeah. appreciate yeah. it. Uh, I'm a huge Broken Lizard fan. Thank I, you. I like to see I found it before it was broken. <laughs> yes. So yes. Uh, Puddle Cruisers was an amazing, amazing thank movie. You. Thank you. Um, so back to um, that. I know you guys did a gun grow fund me for the Super Troopers 2. Uh, is there anything in the pipeline for maybe a pot fest or beer fest too? <laughs> Wait, isn't there a Super Troopers three like already on the way? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're we're writing it right now. Winter Soldier, I believe the title <laughs> yeah. is. <apparently>. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that remains to be seen. But yeah, oh, okay. Uh, it's uh, that was funny. thrown out. It's yeah, that was thrown out at one point. Winter Soldier. Yeah. Well, the problem is, you know, like Jay, who's not here right now, he uh, he really wants to shoot Super Troopers three in the winter time, but he's also like. He can't handle the cold <laughs> at all, so we're <laughs> trying to figure out why he keeps pushing that idea. Because really, shooting out like when it's cold, it, it, it sucks. Yeah. Uh, Want to test himself? Is that is that the thing? I don't know. I think oh, he just no. likes the way it looks, but he's not thinking about how it's going to feel. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Super Trooper Three is definitely in the pipeline. We're writing now, and then. Um, yeah, as far as Pot Fest goes, the uh, the the producer of, of Beer Fest, Billy Gerber, also happens to be the producer of A Star Is Born. And so now we're having really good talks about uh, getting uh, doing pot fest with Lady Gaga. Yeah, because it's a natural progression, right? Yeah. Stars yeah. went. I don't know if you've seen. 
Um, what is the writing process like for you guys on something like Super Troopers 3 when you two guys and like and maybe one other member of Broken Lizard are writing Tacoma FD and then other guys are somewhere else? Like, how do you how do you do how do you write together? We definitely though? had to go on hiatus a little bit. Like, we we uh, we wrote uh, right up to when we started shooting. We were working on that script, and then um, yeah, we took a break while we were doing it. And so now I think we're gonna get back together and. Um, and kind of flesh it out some more. Is it usually like over email, or do you guys feel like you have to meet up every day and sort of work together in a room? No, we have to get together in, in the room. I mean, you want to, you know, a lot of people ask us about improvising on set, but those writing sessions are a lot of improv as well. Uh, in fact, all improv, you know, we're just riffing and, you know, making stupid jokes, and anything that we do think is good will we'll wind up on the page. And there. the nice thing about the Super Troopers writing stuff is you already know who the characters are, you know who you are. You can sit down at the table and do the writing in the voice of that character, and it makes it work, uh, move a little faster that way. So, Well, guys, uh, I love Tacoma FD. It's great to have you back. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's on True TV. When, can, when does it premiere? March 28th. This Thursday. Uh, this Thursday. Uh, this Thursday. Uh, 10.30. 10.30 yeah. on True TV. Hey, can yep. I just say something real quick? Yes. Yeah. I made a joke. I said that four of us are good at our jobs, and uh, it not, doesn't have to be these four. You know, I, Marcus Henderson and Eugene Cordero are are are, are, are also uh, in it. Yeah. Are also in the show. So, you know, I just Excellent. wanted to clarify right. that they're gonna watch it and go, oh, "Thanks, man. Thanks a lot." So, Gabe, Gabe has I love a really that, that was in your head for the last like five minutes. That's he all I thought like, about. I didn't well, hear any of the questions. He's Canadian. He's I was a, like, yeah, he's "Fuck, what did I?" He's, he's Canadian, so he he doesn't he doesn't want to offend anybody. I'm surprised he didn't say, "I'm sorry." Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry about no, that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Tacoma FD, give him a huge round of applause, guys. Let's hear it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 